a game that we don't have bets on, but it is probably going to be the most picked survivor game of the week, and that's the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the New England Patriots. We saw this line open nine and a half over the summer. We have not seen any appetite for the favorite um, in the in the sharp community. The public loves Cincinnati here, but most of the sharp money is coming on New England. We've seen this line get bet down to as far as eight, even seven and a half. But now I'm starting to see a little bit more money on Cincy. So maybe today the uh, Pandora's box has been open, Fez. Do we see this thing? Because you, in, in your rating, you've got this thing double digits. I think double digits is a fair number here. Do we see this thing drifting back? And we've got this teaser protection line here at BetUS, so not really showing the accurate number of what it really is. But do we think we see this thing kind of go back towards nine and a half, ten before we get to Sunday? Well, as long as Chase plays, absolutely. So we'll we'll, we'll keep an eye on that and and the status. Uh, I will say, so BetUS is sending you a, a message here, all right? Yeah. The bookmaker can give you a winner. They're saying, you know, we don't want you to tease the Bengals. We're going to deal the Bengals minus nine and adjust the VIG. So now if you play that six-point teaser, it's down to minus three. Teasers lose. So if you, if, if you have a leg that has has a, a loser, well, win or lose, the, the oh, I'm sorry, ties lose if you have one leg with a tie. So you never would want to tease to minus three. So be careful, you know, certainly with that. If you did choose to tease it, you got to use the six and a half point teaser. But there are other places that the Bengals are as low as eight. And so what BetUS is basically saying is go go, go clobber their competition and te- tease them Bengals somewhere else, yeah. which I agree with completely. Um, so I think they're giving you a, a winner by, de- by dealing the Bengals high that way, saying, look, New England's going to win three games this year. Given that's the case, are they really going to win in the jungle? Chase or no, no. chase? No, they're not. So I, I like them for Survivor, and I like them – in uh, in in the teasers. Well, we've yeah, got Chris- two years. In, we've got two years in a row of people expecting Cincinnati to roll week one, and they lost outright. So true. Uh, has me a little bit gun shy, uh, even from the nine in this uh, man, strange situation. It, it's you can take a six and a half point teaser, but it's a profitable s- scenario. It, it actually feel when a teaser feels that free. Or a teaser leg feels that free. It's scary. It's it's yep. sort of like you feel guilty taking it. Uh, I know it sounds stupid, but I don't know how the hell Cincinnati doesn't win this game. I don't know how the hell I don't have a teaser in my portfolio. I'm not <laughs> going to do it. I don't know why. It's just uh, because I you're going to put put them on your survivors. That's why. That's and yes. You- that's why I didn't do the teaser. The, honestly, that played into my decision making. I'm like, I just spent the. Th- I just forked over a grand at Circa to bid in Survivor. I'm not going to also bet real money on the Bengals this week because <laughs> I already got them. <laughs> well, you know, Chase is practicing today, and there's a question on how much he's worth if he comes in. The the value between eight, you know, it was already hovering around eight, and, and there is yeah. no value in eight and a half, nine, nine no. and a half. Uh, so it's it, you can easily move quickly a little bit more than it normally would in other uh, point ranges. So um, I would think point. that it goes back up as long as when Chase is confirmed. I have to feel like this is a solid nine when it uh, when that's announced. Yeah, I am seeing a lot of positive Jamar Chase comments in the chat. Practicing participant, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Fez, does that explain the move today? I mean, literally about an hour before our show. Uh, my board lit up with some Bengals money, pushed this thing to eight, eight and a half. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. My question would be, my understanding is it went down from nine and nine and a half to, you know, as low as seven and a half because of the chase news. Now is chase worth two points? No. Ah, is, yeah. I don't think so. These are dead numbers. They, so the eight and the nine, you know, really don't mean much. And that's what's basically it should be yeah. minus nine and a half with chase and minus seven and a half without him. Yeah. And really, like this number right now, consensus is probably eight and a half, maybe even eight point two five. Nine is the teaser protection number. It's a little inflated at BetUS because of that, because they have smart people like Steve consulting for them now and telling them how to get away from these teasers um, because they're getting killed on these teasers. So uh, keep that in mind. Frame that number in mind when you are looking and shopping around. That nine isn't really the true number here. It's just kind of an inflated number to protect against those dreaded teasers. Um, All right, so no plays for us here in this game. Um 